We all feel in control of our actions and thoughts. It's what defines us. But as biology and technology begin to intertwine, the question remains: Could your brain be hacked? The truth is, the brain is an electrical device, and because of this, we can interface it to our own electronic devices. In fact, hundreds of thousands of people are already taking advantage of this with cochlear implants, a type of hearing aid which mimics sound in the brain through electrical impulses. However, electricity isn't exactly precise. It ends up spreading signals across many neurons in the brain, and in the case of hearing, this can make the signal muddy or blurry. To solve this problem, researchers have found a way to use light, which you can aim and is much more precise, to stimulate the desired parts of the brain. And it's this light that may be the key to very specific control over the brain. But first, these cells must somehow learn how to use light as an input source. As crazy as it may seem, a harmless non-reproducing virus is used to insert genes in the desired neurons or brain cells. These genes are taken from other organisms that use light to survive, such as algae. Surprisingly, we use the same genetic and cellular mechanisms as them. So if you take DNA from one and insert it in another, it still works. These genes encode for proteins that allow the neuron or brain cell to act as a solar cell. As a result, they react to incoming light and convert it to an electrical signal, while cells without the new DNA remain unreactive. All we need now is an optical source to shine light on these neurons when we want them activated. Create this setup within the reward systems of the brain, and you could make someone happy with the push of a button. Stick it into the motor cortex, and you could control parts of movement. And this is exactly what scientists have done. This mouse has fiber optic cables wired into its right motor cortex, which controls movement to the left. As soon as the light is shot into its altered solar panel neurons, it cannot help but run to the left. Its thoughts and actions have been hacked. So, what happens when we begin to stick technology into our brains? On the one hand, it may open the doors to managing physically debilitating diseases, personality disorders, or even conditions such as depression. Turn on or off the necessary cells, and voila. Heck, the average person may be able to integrate this technology in order to augment their vision or play video games in their mind. And as we begin to understand the intricacies of the brain, which regions specifically control which actions and thoughts, this technology will bear even more significance. However, the ethical concerns and risks lurk quietly around the corner. So, knowing that your brain could be hacked, would you want this technology in your brain? Don't forget, ASAP Science now has T-shirts in both white and black. Links are in the description. And if you want the inside scoop on upcoming episode ideas and behind the scenes, check out our personal Instagram and Twitter handles, and subscribe for more weekly science videos.